U.S. citizens who participated on a recent people-to-people -people visual arts program to Cuba with the Center for Cuban Studies visited the art studios of two Cuban artists named William Perez and Marlis Fuego, located near Old Havana in Havana, Cuba. William Perez and Marlis Fuego are taking advantage of a new program by the Cuban government to provide abandoned spaces to artists in order to revitalize neighborhoods. U.S. citizens who meet Cuban artists are delighted to find out about the important role the arts play in Cuban society, as well as the active role in the government for supporting the arts. Perez and Fuego took some time away from their busy schedules making art to answer some questions by a few participants in one of our People to People programs to Cuba. Is the space very expensive to have this kind of space? Bueno. It was a pharmacy. It had some problem maybe with the filtration or something. It was one of the most important pharmacies in Havana. And they asked the municipal government to use it. So through the UNIAC, which is Union of Writers and Artists of Cuba, and the ministry, whatever ministry it was, it came in ministerio. So there's a new kind of effort to bring space to artists, I guess, spaces of disrepair, in disrepair to artists. Um, and all the reparation was done by, the, by their own expense. The state gave them the space. Este, este barrio tiene muchos lugares como des, descompuestos como este. So this whole area is kind of in disrepair. And so the government, I guess, gets this part of a revitalization kind of effort. When did it open up for them to travel to, to the United States? Eh, cuesta llegar a los Estados Unidos. Cuando empezó la posibilidad de poder venir a los o lleg llegar a los Estados Unidos? Bueno, ¿Hace tiempo o siempre ha sido así? Bueno, la, la posibilidad de ir a Estados Unidos siempre depend depende de las relaciones entre los, entre los gobiernos. It depends on the government's relationship, their gov relationship with the government. La primera vez que estuve en Estados Unidos fue en el 2000. The two, year 2000 was the first time. Where was the exhibition? So the Center for Cuban Studies was the first exhibit in the United States. The Center for Cuban Studies. And what else does he play in the United States today? What's that? What else does he play in the United States? Do you have anything more planned for the United States in the future? In Enero, an exhibition in Colectiva in Los Angeles. Colectiva, is it between other Cubans too? Yes, yes. So they have a collective exhibit planned in January in LA, in Los Angeles, so you guys should go, um, with Cuban artists. Mm -hmm.